Hello everyone, in today's video, I wanna go through the most popular online brokerages in Canada. Now, I've been using these brokerages for quite a long time. In fact, I've been kinda of lazy and using the banks for since I was 20 years old. So I've been investing in the stock market for a very, very long time, that dates me, but that's okay. I want to go through, because I've evolved, I've been using Wealth Simple Trade. I've also been using Quaz Trade, and I'm also going to give you my uh, pros and cons with using banks as a brokerage account. Now, if you are interested in figuring out should you switch accounts or you've always been interested whether Quest Trade is for you or Well Simple Trade is for you or you should stick with your banks, then you got to check out today's video. Now the first brokerage account that I want to talk about is Wealth Simple Trading App. This is the easiest uh, brokerage account I've ever used. It's got an amazing interface. It's got a very sleek design. It is so easy to use. So if you are a beginner investor just getting started in the stock market, uh, I would highly recommend the Wealth Simple Trading app. And because I have to go through so much valuable content in today's video, if you want to know more about Wealth Simple Trading app, like, like how do you buy a stock, um, in-depth, uh, my, my in-depth review of the interface and all the mechanics of using the app, you got to check out this video up here. But today I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons. So here are the top pros. Pros is that super awesome, easy peasy interface. Number two, best, best thing, no commissions. In lots of other accounts, you pay a brokerage, or you pay a commission trading fee. So in any other account that you open, buying a stock requires like $9.95, $4.95. There's always a cost with buying a stock, but not in the Wealth Simple Trading app. So if you are looking to buy US stocks, Canadian stocks, it is commission free. Now, there, you can open an RRSP account, you can open a TFSA account, you can open a cash account. And what I love about it is so easy to just connect it to your bank account. Like you log in, you don't need to file in like tons of paperwork. It's all online, super easy, easy peasy to use, link it to your bank account, wait it for a few days, fund your account, and then go buy your stocks, okay? It's that simple. Now, of course, there's always a catch. Now I have to tell you the downside. The downside is that you can't open a registered education savings plan. You can't open a Lira. You can't open a corporate account. So no, let's say no more complicated other different types of accounts. You can't do that. If you want to open like a big investment club with your friends, you can't do that on the Wealth Simple Trading app. Secondly, there is no research available on the Wealth Simple Trading app. So if you want to look for a research paper, what is the latest analyst reviews on say your favorite stock like Apple? Well, you can't get it with the Wealth Simple Trading app. Third, the biggest, biggest downside I see with the Wealth Simple Trading app is that unfortunately, if you buy US stocks, you get dinged with a currency exchange fee. So if you want to buy Apple, it's sure, there's no commissions with it, but you get dinged with one and a half percent currency exchange fee. So when you exchange your Canadian funds and you go buy Apple, well, Apple is a US stock. So guess what? You're going to get, you're going to have to pay one and a half percent currency exchange fee. And because there is no US account in the Wealth Simple Trading app, well, if you sell that one Apple share, and it will automatically get converted to Canadian funds when you sell that one Apple share. So then guess what? You get dinged with another one and a half percent currency exchange fee. I think this for me, I would say if you want to buy US stocks, I would just say it's probably better to buy it in other online brokerages. But I could see how you want to do that if you are like only buying one share. You don't want to pay $10 commission fees with another brokerage. But I just want a fair warning. That's like the biggest downside of using Wealth Simple Trading App. Now, another thing about Wealth Simple Trading App, you can't do options trading. You can't do Forex trading. Like there's, you can't, um, you can actually buy 
uh, Bitcoin, but it's a synthetic Bitcoin. You actually don't own a Bitcoin. Although they say you can trade cryptocurrencies on it, like you could go buy your, your, your Ethereum. I, I know I can't pronounce it. Or um, you could buy Bitcoin, but it's synthetic. It's not truly, you're not truly buying actual Bitcoin. The other, the other downside of it is it does take three days to fund your account. So if you all of a sudden need to buy your favorite stock and you didn't have money in your account, well, you're going to have to get that funds transfer from your bank and it's going to take three days. So that's, you know, not that great. So bottom line, great for beginners, uh, great, easy peasy interface. I think this is great for Canadian stocks. Now, the second brokerage account I want to talk about is Quest Trade. Now, I've been using Quest Trade for about six months now. And what I really, really like about it is that it's actually a next level up from Wealth Simple Trading app. You can open an investment club. You can have a family, like um, family account where you pool your money with your friends and your family. Um, so basically, you can have way more complicated features on Quest Trade that you couldn't do with a bank account or with a Well Simple Trading app. Another thing I really, really like is the sleek interface. It's actually really fairly easy to use. It's so easy to open an account. So easy to link it to your bank account and there is no inactivity fee so basically if you open an account you plop in you know a thousand dollars in your bank account and you don't trade like you don't go buy stocks that's okay they don't charge a fee so you could buy stocks you could buy etfs um, you can also do options trading so you know there's quite a few things that quest trade can do and the most 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 important part is that the commissions are really really low we're looking at four dollars and 95 cents okay now this is not like free okay there's not it's not commission free so you still pay you know four dollars and 95 cents but that's pretty pretty good i mean compared to banks compared to yeah compared to banks uh like i have a um a scotia i trade account or i also have a uh, rbc direct investing account and they charge nine dollars and 95 cents in fact it's actually recently was ten dollars and 95 cents us dollar so Quest Trade has very, very competitive trading fees and they allow you to open an RRSP account, you can open an RESP account, you can open a Lira account. So there is no um, constraints with the types of accounts you can open. One of the best things I love about it is that you also can open a Canadian account and you can open a US account. So you don't get dinged with the one and a half percent currency exchange fees, like from conver converting uh, Canadian to US funds and US funds back to Canadian. I mean, obviously that happens if you actually want to exchange money between accounts, but it's not the same as well simple trading app where you bought an Apple stock, they took your Canadian funds, converted to US funds. And then if you sell your Apple stock, then they convert it from US to Canadian. Well, in Quest Trade, you literally go buy Apple. You have to exchange your Canadian fees to US funds. You go buy Apple. And then when you sell Apple, the funds get transferred back to your US account. So you don't have to pay currency exchange fees as long as you keep it in your US account for US stocks. Now, what's the downside of Quest Trade? Because there's always a downside. Well, the first downside is it takes a long time to transfer funds, okay? So when you move your money from your bank account to Quest Trade, that takes up to one to two business days, unless you do interact transfer. If you could do interact transfer for small amounts of money, it's instantaneous. But if you need to transfer money from your bank account, um, it takes unfortunately one to two business days. And another downside is that if you need to exchange your Canadian funds to US funds, it's not instantaneous. That also could take up to a day. So to me, that was like a huge uh, draw, drawback with Quest Trade. Another piece is that you also need a thousand dollars as a minimum balance. Otherwise, you can't open an account. And the third option, which is opening a brokerage account through your bank. Now, this is the most convenient way because, well, we collect our paychecks in our bank accounts. So it's just to make sense that you could easily transfer for the funds to a brokerage account with the bank. Now the bank is just offering super ultra convenience because you don't have to move money to another account that will take days. It's literally instantaneous as long as you open a brokerage account through your bank. 
They also provide lots of research papers. You know, you could go check and do a deep dive on your favorite stocks. They'll be covered by Morningstar or uh, lots of uh, research companies. And so you could do a lot of research through your bank brokerage account. They'll also give you webinars where you can learn the basics of investing. Sometimes they'll even have like an investment form where you can ask questions. My favorite part is just the convenience of it. With my RBC Direct Investing account, I actually have a US account and a Canadian account. So I find that when I transfer funds to my um, brokerage account, I can easily move money between Canadian and American like almost instantaneously. And I can't get that with Wealth Simple Trade. Now, I also have a brokerage account with Scotia iTrade. The downside with Scotia iTrade is that you can't, unfortunately, um, separate your Canadian funds from US funds. They only, they only have Canadian accounts. But the great news about banks is that I think typically when you open um, a brokerage account, there is no minimum uh, amount. Like I think you can even like drop in just $10 or $100 and you could go buy your own, your favorite companies. Now, what are the cons with bank accounts? big one is the commissions. Okay, the commissions can range from like, I think, $8.95 to $10.95 US. So every time you buy some stocks of your favorite companies at fair value, or the best thing is under value, then you would have to pay a commission fee like it ranges again, $8.95 to like $10.95 every single trade. So it gets really, really pricey. Now there's time I, I've actually also noticed that if you don't make like a minimum number of trades in your account, your bank could actually charge you for a fee, an inactivity fee. Like the fact that they have to maintain your brokerage account, they might charge a fee for that. I also noticed that if you were looking to open more advanced accounts, like say you want to open an investment club, you want to have a family account, the banks are really, really limited here. They, I don't think they really give you that type of option. Also, uh, they, if you want to do a bit more advanced options, uh, investing strategies, the banks are just not cut out for that at all. So bottom line is if you want to open a brokerage account with your bank, you're doing it really for convenience because, well, they, uh, they let you transfer money like lickety split. And um, it's just super, super convenient that you don't have to manage multiple different accounts and remember all the passwords and figure out the funding. Um, but the downside with banks, and this is the part that I hate the most, is the paperwork involved. I find like compared to Wealth Simple Trade, compared to Quest Trade, the banks really, really need to get like more digital because the paperwork is like it's like super inconvenient, at least in my experience. Now, if you have a better experience with your bank, please let me know in the comments below. So in summary, what are my key takeaways with having experimenting with these multiple brokerage accounts? I think Wealth Simple Trade is the best for beginner investors the best and plus it has low like commission free trading fees but of course it's going to catch you about those currency exchange fees for us stocks so i would not really buy i would try to avoid buying us stocks through wealth simple trading app quest trade i think overall is the best brokerage account out of the three the banks uh wealth simple trade and um quest trade i would say quest trade is like probably my favorite out of all the brokerage accounts that I have. Now, the only downside to Quest Trade is like any discount brokerage, it takes time to fund your account. But I love the, the user interface. I do really like the fact that the paperwork is very minimal. It's like just all online. It's super easy peasy. They have a great customer support team on Quest Trade. Um, I do want to mention that Quest Trade, though, unfortunately, when there's times of high volatility, uh, the account that broke that that account could kind of like you might have to connect back in. It might it might kick you out, and then you have to kick you have to log back in. But actually, when I found that there was a high volatility day, I had also trouble doing doing my um, buying my stocks and selling my stocks in my brokerage account with RBC, Royal Bank. So it's just unfortunate, like when it's high volatility day, you just gotta watch out. Sometimes it's a little slow. The I think for um, 
opening a brokerage account with your bank is the best if you want ultra, ultra convenience, okay? If you're not caring about the more expensive commissions because you don't do that many trades a year, it doesn't really matter. You like the convenience of just transferring your funds instantaneous? Well, the bank is definitely the way to go. Hey everyone, have I missed out um, like a big online brokerage account that you absolutely love? Have you even tried TD Bank? I'm actually curious to know what the interface is like and what the user experience is like. So please comment below. Let me know what your favorite brokerage accounts are. If you're looking to open an account with Quest Trade or with Wealth Simple Trading App, please check my links below because you can get some money back. Check out my link below. Anyways, I hope you found this video super helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up. And, so, and if you haven't subscribed, well, why not? Please subscribe and hit that bell notification button. I'll see you in the next video. Otherwise, have a great day.